hi everyone in this video i am going to tell you about a noise figure so what do you mean by noise figure noise can be noise figure can be defined in two different ways one is it is defined as the ratio of noise out of practical receiver <coughs> noise out of practical receiver to the noise out of ideal receiver okay so what do you mean by noise figure noise figure in one way it can be defined as the noise coming out from the practical receiver divided by noise coming out from the ideal receiver what is the noise coming out from the ideal receiver and what is the noise coming from the practical receiver that we should know before going into the expression and one more thing is noise figure is expressed as noise figure is represented by noise figure is represented by f n noise figure is represented by f n okay so f n is equal to noise out of practical receiver divided by noise out of ideal receiver okay this is one way of definition in another way it can also be defined as the ratio of signal to noise ratio of input to the signal to noise ratio of output okay in another way it can also be defined as it can also be defined as the ratio of signal to noise ratio of input to the signal to noise ratio of output so we can also equate the fn noise figure is equal to signal to noise ratio of the network divided by signal to noise ratio of the network's output that means it tells what is the amount of degradation when the signal to noise ratio is passing through the network so we can write it as signal to uh, what is this network input is signal to noise ratio of input <coughs> and output signal to noise ratio of output so when the signal to noise ratio when a signal is being passed through this network what is the amount of degradation in terms of its signal to noise ratio that is going to be determined by the noise figure okay now let us see the input temperature or input noise available for this network is thermal noise input noise available for this network is thermal noise what is the expression for thermal noise thermal noise is proportional to temperature and bandwidth of the network bandwidth of the noise bandwidth bandwidth is nothing but here noise bandwidth when we are equating this thermal noise with these two factors then thermal noise is equal to ktbn ktbn so here t is nothing but temperature as room temperature we can take it as kt not bn and the network has a gain g network has a gain g when this thermal noise is passing through this network what is the output noise it will be kt not 
Bn into G. Okay, the gain of this network will be added with this one. <coughs> this all happens with ideal receiver. <coughs> okay, if the network is an ideal receiver or ideal network, then this will be happened. For practical receiver, we don't know how much noise will be added into this network because a lot of factors will be there. Environmental factors may affect the noise or the internal circuit may affect the noise. Internal components may affect the noise. So several factors depends on the on that to how much noise could be added in the receiver. Okay, but ideally we can say ideally uh, all other factor noise is zero and internal noise is also zero. Only thermal noise will be present. The thermal noise is due to the homic portion of the receiver input stages. So at that particular instant at the thermal noise at the input it will be K P naught B N that is due to completely the noise temperature and as well as bandwidth of the noise. That when passes through the ideal receiver it will be having K T naught B N into G. Now we need to write the expression. We know what is Fn, Fn is equal to previously we have defined Fn as noise out of practical receiver by noise out of ideal receiver. This is ideal receiver. Okay, that is equal to noise out of this is output. Okay, noise out of ideal rec practical receiver divided by noise out of ideal receiver. So n out is equal to how can you write n out now? N out practical receiver we don't know so keep as it is n out because we don't know how much is the practical noise present over the network now n out of the ideal network what is the n out of the ideal network this one k t naught b n into g k t naught b n into g okay so what is where we know each and every one let us write uh, the same again what is uh, k what is uh, what are the remaining parameters where k is equal to Boltzmann's constant where k is equal to Boltzmann's constant which is equal to 1.38 into 10 power minus 23 joules per degree this is the Boltzmann's constant and uh, t naught is nothing but room temperature and bn is nothing but noise bandwidth noise bandwidth that means what is the amount of noise that can be passing through the network g is nothing but available gain available gain so available gain can also be said as s out by s in s out by s in if you take the noise figure the second definition like s in uh, signal to noise ratio of input divided by signal to noise ratio output then also we can get this expression like g is equal to s out by s in okay s yes, out by s yes, in s yes, out a signal available at the output original signal what we have received that is s yes, in after passing through the network it will be s yes, out so s yes, out by s yes, in is nothing but your available gain g okay now we have to concentrate on this factor n out okay we don't know what is n out is let us assume assume delta n be the noise introduced by let us assume the delta n be the noise introduced by the practical network noise introduced by the practical network now see here this is the network we have and the input side already ideally we have the noise as k t naught b n this cannot be avoided because for ideal, for every ideal network this is the amount of noise present there that means the same noise should also be there with respect to practical receiver practical network network is nothing but receiver okay sometimes i am saying receiver means um, radar receiver just we have considered in our uh, match filter network concepts like a network okay 
So K T naught B N is nothing but available input noise. After passing through this one, it will be K T naught B N into G. This is what we have seen with respect to ideal receiver, ideal network. But now see delta N we are taking delta N is the noise available within the network. Okay, these are uh, K T naught B N what I have said that this K T naught B N is not due to the network. It is due to the receiver input stage. Okay, input stage. So this noise definitely be added in the ideal and as well as in the practical receiver. Okay, now we are talking about practical receiver, practical network. This practical network is having some internal uh, noise due to other factors in the network itself. So they are having delta N is the noise produced by this network. So what happens along with this KT naught BN, delta N will also come at the output because this delta N is the noise introduced by the network alone. So how can you rewrite the expression Fn is equal to N out by KT naught BN into G. This is what we have now, what is N out? N out is due to practical receiver. N out is nothing but it is due to practical receiver. So, practical network is having a noise K T naught B N into G plus delta N divided by K T naught B N into G. Simplify this equation once. If we separate these two, 1 plus delta N by K T naught B N into G. This is Fn. Okay. Now what is the noise due to the network alone? Therefore, the noise due to the network alone that is delta N is equal to, we need to write what is delta N from this expression. So delta N is equal to Fn minus 1 into this one. Okay. So, Fn minus 1 into K T naught B N into G. This is the final expression we have got for the noise figure Fn. Okay. So, delta N is nothing but the noise available in the practical receiver with ideal noise as K T naught B N and noise figure as Fn. Okay, so in this way we need we can calculate the noise available in within the network itself. Okay, this will help us in the calculation part when we are going for the noise evaluation for n number of networks in cascade. Okay, so this is the noise figure and its expression. Thank you.